Hey everybody, Dylan Distraction here, coming to you live from Batlantic Studios. Thought I'd do a quick back the drawing board, talk about a comic book show that's on my drawing table, Old Dog. Declan Shelby's Shelby's Old Dog. Such a fun comic book. Super psyched to just draw this character for fun. I'm a huge fan of Declan's work. And uh, if you haven't checked out Old Dog from Image Comics, you should. I'm looking at some reference here. Uh, looks like that's what this logo looks like. Um... Yeah, I'm not going to give away any spoilers, but you should definitely read it. Definitely check it out and support independent comics, support creator-owned comics, just support comics. Whatever kind of comics you like, go get some comics. Buy some comics, enjoy some comics. So, Old Dog. Uh, I, I, I like the story. It definitely feels very like Sin City. Um, Sleep Sleeper? Was that the other one? The Brubaker book? I, I That just released an omnibus of that. I haven't read it. I know Brubaker does a lot of that sort of crime noir uh, sort of stuff. Of course, I'm probably not doing any any justice to, or service to to the story by just kind of guessing what the story's about. Um, yeah, so let's just kind of noodle away at inking this. And DylanDistraction.com, that's my YouTube channel, MakeComicsCool.com, that's my Patreon, Dylan Andrews Art, if you want to see more examples of my work, and Make Comics Cool, and Batlantic Store, and whatever yeah like subscribe thumbs up share or not it's up to you i'm not the boss of you do whatever you feel like you should do so yeah let's uh talk more about old dog um currently i believe there are two issues that are out and it seems like this book uh it, there's some sci-fi elements to it there's some crime noir elements to it. I don't know if it's called noir. <laughs> Terrible at reviewing books. Let me review this book by not telling you what it's about. Um, it's this dude, and he's old. And is he? But is he old? I don't know. Was he in a coma? I don't know. There's a lot of sort of that sort of stuff. Like, what's going on? Definitely kind of keeps you guessing. Which I like. I like those sort of stories where I have to sort of figure it out. Like, is there time traveling here? Or is there, like, is this linear time? Or is this, when does this take place? Is this future time? I like those sort of stories. Uh, Shipwreck. That was another one. That was a, that was a book I really enjoyed that uh, sort of had that, like, what's going on? Where are we? What is this? I think really with independent comics, create your own comics, you really have the ability to sort of do those kind of stories that are maybe a little less linear, a little less predictable. And uh, I think Walking Dead kind of proved that. Invincible, another book, the Kirkman books. Those books, you're like, I, anything can happen. And I think with comic books, we need that sort of unpredictable because obviously with mainstream superhero comics, we, we can become rather, I don't know, formulaic, but there's never going to be a finale to it. We know that no characters will ever be gone forever just because they're, they're too valuable to be just written off. So the fact that independent comics will really allow for some real unpredictable unpredictable stuff to occur is always rather exciting because this old dog book I have no idea what's going to happen to this character uh, I don't I don't know if he'll if he's the good guy, if he's the bad guy or if he's being used or if he's using people or what his deal is so it's always really fun to kind of go along for that ride and um, I'm trying to do that in my own work so yeah if you like um, if you like independent comics, you want to check out my comics, go to batlanticstore.com, makecomicscool.com. Got a lot of fun stuff planned for this year. And so I'm just going to really try to draw every day and make comics every day and talk about comics I'm excited about and talk about creators I'm excited about. And I first saw Declan Shalvey's work with uh, probably Moon Knight, and then I kind of went backwards to Thunderbolts. And, of course, his Venom run was, was great. A lot of stuff for Marvel. 
I don't know if he's Deadpool. I really like this Deadpool. And his work has just really evolved. And he's become kind of a do-it-all sort of creator. Where he's able to write and draw and color and create own stuff. And has a YouTube channel and just really great stuff. So I'd love to work with him someday. So Declan, if you ever see, see this, I'd love to work with you. So now what I'm doing here is going through the Micron PN, just sort of blocking out where I think stuff should be. I don't want to get too tight or too precious with anything, right? I still want to maintain that active, sort of sketchy look with stuff, because I like that sort of look in other people's work. So I always try to kind of bring a little bit of that into my own work. I don't want it to feel too... Um, too stiff, right? That's always a concern people have. It's like, it's like, oh man, I lost it in the inks. You know, like sometimes you'll have that where they'll be like, oh, the pencils had this beautiful, lively quality, you know, really bouncy lines and really energetic strokes and push and pull and real, real action and movement. And then you get to the inks and you get real tight and you're like, oh, I lost it. I lost it in the inks. So what I always try to do is maintain that level of fun and energy in uh, throughout the entire process because I hate it when when I get to the end of a drawing and I'm I disliked the in, I didn't enjoy doing it when <laughs> that's happened and you get to the end and you're like oh I didn't enjoy drawing that at all and then you're like and the and the result is un, unfulfilled versions you see the final product and you're like yeah it looks like I didn't enjoy drawing that I definitely was I wasn't and the result wasn't what I was going for. So, but you know, you learn from anything. Everything you draw, you learn. I try to learn something from everything I'm creating. Happy accidents, happy little trees. And uh, yeah, no, I'm not using any circle templates. I ain't doing any of that. Why bother? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use reference for anything. No circle templates. This gun is just gonna be whatever I feel like drawing a gun to look like today. <laughs> Probably people will, will cringe at that and be like, "Really? Not gonna even bother to look at what a no? How a hand holds a gun? No, just winging it." I think that comic books, in my opinion, should be. Should be whatever the creator wants to do. And if I feel like winging it and just kind of guessing at what I think a gun's going to look like, then that's what I'm going to do. I am going to look at reference here, looking at... Looking at uh, the character. So, uh, 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 uh. I think people will get it. They'll be like, nah, I can't understand that that is what a gun is approximately looks like. Yeah. You get it. You're picking up what I'm putting down. I know that you know that I know. And really, I think that's a great thing about Declan's work, too, is that there is a spontaneity to it. Like, there's a cartoony quality. I never feel like he's over-rendering or doing any sort of you know, digital manipulation, I always feel like. And if you look at his originals, too, it's just him drawing on the board. Yeah, that looks like a gun. Close enough. This looks like a hand holding a gun. Close enough. And then that, and then that. I don't think you'd see the thumb. I'm not going to draw it. Look at my glove. Does she have a glove? Do you have a glove in the counter? Let's look. Uh, it's like a shirt. That's like his big design element. He's got like a jacket with like a symbol on it. The symbol just looks like a looks like a big line. So jacket, cool. Shirt, like a stripe across his shirt. A striped shirt. Gloves, gloves. Yeah, getting gloves. 
gloves. We'll give him those bicycle gloves where it's got like a slit off the back. Sure, do that. Knuckles, knuckles, knuckles. Rendering, rendering, rendering. Knuckle, knuckle, hand, gun, gloves. Wrist, wrist. Good, cool. And as you can tell here, obviously, just kind of blocking in where I think stuff should be. The zipper, neck, neck. What else does a human body have? Pinch point, pinch point. Other side of the jacket. And I'll do the same sort of thing over here. This part of the jacket's gonna go like that. Underneath, shoulder, bicep, and then the forearm coming out like that. Yeah, I'll go with that. That looks cool. All right, and then just noodle away at it. <clears throat> and then just render the crap out of it. All right, face, face. <laughs> just me explaining the body parts I'm drawing. Hair. This is the captivating YouTube content you came here for. You know it's true. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm gonna be doing some crowdfunding again this year. I like crowdfunding, I enjoy it, and I've got a bunch of books I wanna do. So if you like my work and you wanna support it, go to makecomicscool.com and dylanandrewsart.com and sign up for my mailing list if you wanna get alerts of when things are happening, because things are gonna be happening. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna letter that. What do I want to have the black area be? Maybe that'll be in black. Lettering be in black? The lettering will be in black. It'll do like a splatter effect with the lettering. That'd be kind of cool. Maybe. Like it's splattered. Like old. All right, so then I'm gonna go through and just ink the crap out of it. Why not, right? We'll see what we'll see how it goes. Will it turn out cool? I don't know. Your guess is as good as mine. DylanAndrewsArt.com. Check out more examples of my work. BatlanticStore.com. If you want to buy anything, MakeComicsCool.com. My Patreon. Dylan Distraction is my YouTube channel. Please like, thumbs up, share. Okay, bye.